Uh, here with Emma Klein, who, uh, just a quick backstory of how we met. Would you like to tell it? Because I have a version. Yeah, I'll tell my version. Go Do ahead. You, okay. So I was doing American Idol, and you are on American Idol, obviously. I was I singing. I was trying to win. He was my competition, the fiercest <laughs> competition. Um, but I, I actually hadn't known you, and my mom was like, oh, Bobby Bones, you got to look him up. I was like, okay, cool. So I met you briefly during group round, I think, and you were trying to convince me not to sing an original song for, or it wasn't group round, it was the solo round, mm-hmm. and I didn't listen to you. And then I did eventually get cut. But then you were like, if you get cut, let me know, and you can come play piano for me. And then I got cut, hit you up on Instagram, was like, he's never going to see this, and then ran into you at Radnor Lake on a hike. See, my version of the story is actually much better. It's a little glitzier. Okay, okay, tell the glitz. I don't remember meeting you at uh, Hollywood Week because I, they, they stick me to 10,000 people. I'm sure. In 10,000 rooms, and they tell me in my ear, they're like, okay. Do they tell you what to say? No, okay. but they do say, here's the situation. Mm. So they're like prepping me for what I'm walking into because that's the only time of the whole season when on that show, they just grab my collar and go, go into this room, here's what you're going to see. Yeah. And I don't know everybody yet. That's chaotic. It's chaotic for me, too, because yes. I get confused. Yeah, for you, yeah. After Hollywood week, because Hollywood's chaotic right. as well, just for you guys. Just, I cried so much. <laughs> you just no sleep, no yeah, I, I felt just, like a baby. Yeah, um, and so I do not remember that. Yes. But I do remember going to Hawaii, mm-hmm. which is like, in my mind, the first time that we talked, like yes. actually had a conversation, and you were doing a rehearsal for your Hawaii round, and you crushed your rehearsal. And I was like, God dang. I was like, I don't remember her being that good, but I didn't remember you at all. Uh, but, Thank you. Yeah, of course. And, but I was like, I don't <laughs> I'm remember her. I'm glad I'm not her. memorable. <laughs> and, she, and you were so good. And I think you did a cover. Was Did you do a Bob Marley cover? I what, did, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Is This Love. Is this love? Is this love? Is, yes, yes, just like that. And I, um, I remember thinking, holy moly. And I told my producer, I was like, how come I haven't spent more time with her because... You know, everybody's trying to find the people that have a good story or are great singers or might... Cr- You're just looking for good television early on. Right. And they're like, well... Someone said, well, she, we haven't felt like she has made good TV yet because she's been strong, but she hasn't been crazy. Mm. She hasn't been one of the like top three or four. They're like, oh, she's going to win. Right. Now, they were like, but she did, had such a great performance. Let's go talk to her. I was like, great. So when we... You and I did a little talk on camera. Yes, yeah. It wasn't anything big, but we did it in front of the stage, I think, right over there in Hawaii on the stage. Yeah, 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 we did that. And I remember going, this is before your performance, because I didn't stick around, because I wasn't going to stay all night. I was, right. I had to fly back to Nashville. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, listen, <laughs> it's back and forth all for me. All over the place. And I remember going, oh, there's no no chance she gets cut. Like, she's too good. But I remember telling you, once you told me you lived here, because you were going to Belmont. Yes, I said, yeah. I remember, hey, if you don't make it, when you don't make it, come play with me. Because I thought you played piano because you played it on stage. <laughs> no, I didn't play it on stage. What happened was you were like, do you play any instruments? And Is that what like, happened? And I play, and I was like, yeah, I play some guitar, some piano. And that's when it happened. Mm, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, you fooled me, whatever yeah, it was. Hey, and to your credit, till you make it. To your credit, you continued to fake it. I did. And so, you did, and then I remember talking to Luke afterward and I was like, I called him the next day when I saw you didn't make it. I said, why didn't you guys put Emma through? And he was like, he was like man, she was good, and I, I thought she should go through, but uh, I didn't win that one. And I was like, all right, well, that was it, right? Mm-hmm. But I knew that you were back here, and we were putting together the, the idiots for some big stage shows. Yes. And so did you message me? I did. Okay. Yeah, but I was like, at that point, I think that you had just maybe – like you had a million followers. So I was like, I mean, it's probably just going to get lost in DM world. So what I did is I went to your page, click message, and you had sent me a message because I was going to send you a message. Okay. But I saw you walking down the random street. At Radnor. At Radnor. <laughs> so and funny. I was in my car and I was like, Emma? She's walking with like a couple other people. She was like, yeah, and I rolled my window down. And I was like, hey, uh, let's go. I'll message you as soon as I leave here. <laughs> okay. And then that was it. If I hadn't parked my car exactly where I parked my car, I wouldn't I have run into you. Yeah, I don't know that we would be both sitting here together in that. That's crazy. With that, with that happening. That's but crazy. also, if you wouldn't have signed up for Idol. Yeah, yeah. If you wouldn't, but who knows? Maybe if you didn't sign up for Idol, someone else would have found you playing at a, at a bar and you would be selling out Madison Square Garden right You now. never know. You never know. Crazy. But we are here. Um, then 
You said, I, I play piano. It turns out you didn't really play piano, but she practiced a lot. <laughs> I had, So here's the thing. You I, played one show with this on piano. I, I played a couple. Did I played it? one in California with a big band. For, in but Fresno. then I played only, yeah, but I only played one with just you and Eddie. Got it. Yes. And then Walker came in after And then, that. thank God, when you were like, do you have Walker's number? And I was like, yes, I do. And then I she do. opened. <laughs> then she opened a whole tour for us. I was. So we spent five months together, basically. Yes. Okay. I was quite happy to to open for you. I think that it was the best op- option and for now, me. <laughs> now we're here. That's how we met. Yep. You are out of school now. Yes. You, you have a big fancy publishing deal where they're paying you to write songs. You basically... You, when I met you, you were working as a waiter at some fancy Spanish restaurant place? Barcelona Wine Bar. So good. Have mm-hmm. you ever been there? I don't think so. It's really, it's like tapas bar. So you they, don't work there anymore. You don't have to sell it anymore, but I get well, it. Well, <laughs> hey, I still get half off sometimes. Yeah. There's the right managers there, so I... Well, she's all fancy now, Mike. <laughs> she's writing songs. And, but there's a reason you're actually here today now that we've caught up. Um, you just put out a, a new EP. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Love Me Too? Mm-hmm. Why I Love Me Too? What's that? What, what'd you name it that for? So I know it's the name of a track, but like, why would you pick that as the, the encompassing album name? For sure. So the, the whole EP is basically the story of a relationship, and it was back in college. And um, just kind of me coming in and out of, of like one bad relationship from before college, and then that one in college, whatever. So long story short, like just kind of searching for love in all these other places that were outside of myself and... I think that I was just in this headspace for a while where I was, I don't want to say desperate, but I just was like lonely, which is a normal human thing. But I just, um, I never was comfortable being alone with myself. And then I wrote that song, Love Me Too. And it's just all about like, after this whole series of love stories about me struggling with like other people, um, it's like, I got to love me too. So that's why. There are five tracks. Yep. Here is track one, Call It What It Is. Can we just call it what it is? Everyone knows it's obvious, but to make it a mystery, like one and one ain't easy. It's so this you. was, in my mind, the first one that was existing. Yes. Yeah. This you, came you out used like to play two it at shows. Years ago. Yeah, I used to play yeah. it at shows. Yep. And I was like, dang. Then we started playing it on the national weekend shows. Yep. And you would be like, I randomly used to, my Spotify gets a big spike for some reason. <laughs> She's like, I'll just, like on a random Sunday, I'll look and there's a huge spike. And I'm like, yeah, but we're playing it on the national show. People hear it. That's what happens. That's how it's supposed to work. People hear it and they go, oh, that's cool. Let me go find it. They listen to it. It's magic. It is magic. <laughs> uh, that is track one. Here is uh, track two, Butterflies. Thank God the butterflies are gone. And thank God that you don't look as good as when you left. And that's fine. Because I know that I... So that song is about you not having butterflies anymore because it's over. Yes. Yes. It's the the coffee closure talk and realizing the butterflies are gone. Is this chronological? Yeah. Well, okay. So here's the thing. Actually, I accidentally put the wrong order out on Spotify and we're rearranging it. So technically, Off My Mind comes before butterflies. Well, I was going to say, because butterflies seems a little early Yep. in the whole, unless you like murder them in track five. It's like... (laughs) I don't understand that arc. <laughs> yeah, so it's actually supposed to be called what it is, Off My Mind, Then Butterflies. Mm-hmm. So we're going to switch. It's going to get fixed eventually. But just so for, yeah, thank you for that. Yeah, here is Off yep. My Mind, track three. Broken heart to the other side But the world I fall I left you behind But you tattooed on this lonesome And lovesick brain of mine And there ain't nothing good one thank you yeah, you're quite the little songwriter there thank you. you so much that was a song that was like i want to write songs forever really but, yeah i'm reading this uh, mike posted a note about you here it says um you were prompted just to go back to idol for just one split second prompted by your friend walker burrows i didn't know you he actually got you to do that yeah was yeah. he the season before you no we were the same season he was we were in an acapella group together and he was. He texted me. It was actually while I was serving at Barcelona. He's like, I got an idol audition tomorrow. You should totally come try out. And I was like, I've tried out for those shows like so many times. I was like, eh, it's fine. And then he's like, no, seriously, it's easy peasy. It's like just at the hotel this week. So I did it. So, yep. 
he got me to come along and we got to do that together. So it was pretty cool. I didn't know that was, I thought you guys just knew each other from back home. I didn't know yeah. there actually was a, you know, a hand in getting you to come on the show. It was wild. Walker and I like seriously, like our paths crossing, it's kind of the same thing as us. It's like we, uh, it was just crazy for the past three years. We've both been having the same opportunities come up. So it just was awesome to have a friend through all of that. I hired Walker to play at Caitlin's sister's wedding. You did? Mm -hmm. Did he already play there? Mm -mm, it's in like three weeks. And when, when's your wedding? June what? June 5th. It's like the week after? Yeah. That's amazing. So. Oh, yeah. She, Caitlin's sister loves Walker. And I, I got to know Walker quite well on mm -hmm. Idol. I mean, that's why he's basically the third idiot at this point. Yeah. If we're playing Walker's with us. Yep. But I didn't know Walker was the one. Oh, here's what it says. It says, Walker Burroughs uh, got you in to American Idol where her vocal talent entranced to Bobby Bones. <laughs> Who wrote that? It was me. Yeah. <laughs> Who then took her to open for the Raging Idiots tour until the pandemic. That is true. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, let's see. It was on the stage in 2019 that Emma Klein revealed her under pinned inspiration for her second try at the show. Uh, let's see. Off my mind. And then it goes on to stuff. Okay. Let's do another song here. Down. Give me some of Down. Down, down, down. Baby, I'm so afraid If you keep me around till day breaks Will you still feel the way you do? I've been building up a fortress for so long now How do I tear it all down, 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 down Maybe it's the moon. I start crying <laughs> right now on the interview. And then here's the final track, Love Me Too. Somebody, really anybody will do. Is there someone who wants to be loved who can love me too? Dang, hit him like that. You're you gonna hit him on, like that. But you're looking for something else. Uh, do you talk about your boyfriend now? Oh, do you? Do I want to talk about my boyfriend? No, do you? Oh no, I don't. I don't. Not at all. No, not at all. Good for but you. But it's it's great. Then hold to it. He plays drums for me, so he gets to play all of these songs. No, 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 no. Do you talk about him in public if someone asks you? About, like, if I were to go, oh. do you have a boyfriend? What would you say? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I've seen him on your social media. I know, yeah. I've met him. Oh yeah. But I don't know in an interview setting if you go. Oh yes. Well, I'll talk about him. Okay. How I about, don't care. And what does he think about you doing a whole EP about? My ex, yeah. he actually just, um, we just did a music video and I hired Garrett. Well, I didn't hire him. He worked for free. Uh, and he was, he played my ex in the music video. Your current played your ex. Yes. He's, and, he's a good sport. And how is that relationship going? It's going great. Because you guys started being together whenever you were still out with me. Yeah. Yep. And you're still good. We're still good. It's so easy. It's like so funny. It's just, it's just easy peasy. Do you ever go, oh, it's been tough though. I, I was just kind of thinking of your last year or so because you've kind of really started to figure out who you are and you're writing and you've mm -hmm. been dedicated to music almost solely. I was going to ask you like if you go somewhere and, you, and, and you're like, yeah, I'm an artist in Nashville or a songwriter, how people react to that. But I guess you haven't been a lot of places. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of insane. Like I graduated Belmont. I actually missed graduation because of American Idol. And, and I had been fully anticipating traveling. Like I'd been saving money. I was going to go travel in Europe for like six months and just do whatever. Come back, try to get a pub deal eventually. But it was just one thing after the next, after the next. And then I signed a pub deal, got off tour with you, and then the pandemic hit. So it's just, it's crazy how it happened that way. Are you still riding on Zoom at all? Or are you back in? Um, Pretty much back in person. Most people are either fully vaccinated or, you know, mask on, whatever. And we've been... We've been writing in person again, which is nice. You don't you don't deal with the Zoom lag of a guitar anymore. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. That's been hard. But and it's kind of hard to sing along with somebody if you're like if they're playing and you're kind of I'm gonna, you know chasing a melody and you can't really match it because there's a little lag. It's so hard, especially if you're working with a producer during a Zoom write because they're on their computer, so you kind of get the lag from their computer and you sing. But I actually had my first like legit cut on a Zoom write. Um, Hannah Kerr, a Christian artist. I know Hannah. Is. I yeah, know, I know Hannah. Yeah, yeah, she's great. So she cut. Um, it's called Same God, and that that like hit top forty a couple weeks ago. So that was super. How exciting. cool is that? I was like, what the heck? A Zoom right? Just a right period. Is that, that, right your, is that your first cut? Yeah, that's yeah. not you. Yeah, I've done a couple for like friends, so it's not technically my first cut. Like that went to Belmont, but that's my first like first Nashville major, cut. First of somebody Nashville cut. Yeah, that you couldn't possibly be a roommate with. Exactly. Exactly. That's really cool. Isn't that awesome? Congratulations. Thank you, you so much. Haven't even had a, a pub deal, but about a year, right? 
Yeah, or it's been a little bit over a year now. Dang. Uh, down, we're put, playing down on the Country Top 30, right? We are. Oh, what? sweet. Did you not know that? I did not know that. When is that? Next Next weekend. Okay, Wait, sick. not this weekend. Not this weekend. The following one. Yeah, but I don't, I'm confused because the show airs on Friday. But still, it's the same. Not this weekend. Mm, correct. But the next. So we're going to... Okay. You will be... Highlighted Thank on the, the biggest countdown in America. Thank you so much. And down will be played and you will be our spotlight artist. So I can expect to have a random increase in. Not only that, <laughs> we were, we're also playing the song on the Women of Our Country Thank as you. well. Thank you. Thank you. So there you go. A little, you get a play. You get yes. a spin. You get a spin. I really appreciate what, it. What's happening now with you as an artist? So. Because I, I know you wrote this, you sang this. But, and what I mean is you have a publishing deal and you're writing songs for other folks. Like, are you going to go try to play and travel? And what, what's the deal? Yeah, I would love to tour again as soon as possible, open for somebody. Um, I would love to think about record deal in the next year or two. Um, just talk to more people. and But honestly, yeah, just I, I think that I struggle in writing rooms to write for myself. I really love writing for other artists when I get in a room. And I think that's probably because it's a little bit harder for me to, like, trust the process, like, putting it in someone else's hands, like my own artist stuff. So I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with that each write. And so I'm hoping to write a little bit more for myself in rooms and also find some good producers to do the next project with. What is your, let me look at your um, streams here. Yeah, definitely call it what it is. Hit it the the best because of uh, your help. <laughs> no. Uh, yes. I think it's I, also. No, no, a, I agree, but it's also a great song. It's I mean, an upbeat one, you know, so that's always fun. People, people don't always like to be as sad as I like to write songs about. I We're, like that your phone case matches your jacket. It does. Why red? Why? Uh, it's the only color I can really see. Are you colorblind? Yeah, ha- crazily. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm, crazily. Um, I was looking. Here's a, Mike, when you pull up The Raging Idiots, you ha- actually, you have another cut, too, I'm you, not, that you forgot about. Oh, it's not you, it's me. No, it, two other cuts. Wait, what? Hey, more than that. Mike, if you'll pull it up, the intro song to our entire stage show uh, yes. which is like a little Broadway number where Eddie and I come out separately it's called I'm Here I remember sitting at the house and writing that song me you and Eddie wrote it and then but Walker performed it yes but we sat there with keys and just clunked around and I was like I want it to be some kind of like and remember I forgot my piano to the right do you remember that I was late I was an hour late and I forgot my piano why I, were you an hour late I why forgot, did I ever talk to you again I didn't know what time <laughs> I, I knew it was at like Tuesday at two, but I thought it was a Monday. I thought that like the current day was a Monday. So you called and I was like, yeah, it's at two, on Tuesday. You're like, today is Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no. Okay. Yeah. Rewind that on up. Play it from the beginning. So here, let me, let me teach you this here. We're, we're out. You can pause it for a second. It, it's dark except for two, well, two large hanging men, one red and one green with like a stick outline. Mm-hmm. And then the keys go, and this was the intro to our entire comedy music show. All right. Eddie's out first. They cheer loud when he comes out. I'm here. I'm here. I hope that you're ready. I'm here. I'm here. It's your favorite Mexican, Eddie. We're going to sing some songs. You're going to sing along. And if you think Bobby can sing, well, you're wrong. That's why he brought me along. I'm here. I'm here. And then I'm going to come out of the other side and the crowd will cheer. It's all edited in there. Yeah, yeah. We did this (laughs) now. I'm here. I'm here. Some people think I'm a weenie. I'm here. I'm here. Because they saw me dancing on TV. I got a mirror ball. I can't see it all. I can't get a girl to give me a call. That's why I brought him along. <laughs> but and then it goes on and on and on and on. So but good. that's how we started the show, and we wrote that at the very beginning. Yep. You came over, like, all right, we're going to do this. Let's write a, an intro song to the whole stage show. Because it wasn't just me doing stand-up or us just playing songs. There was kind of a, a comedy, you know, an entire little uh, strain we, yes. we, we created. We, I remember we had also written a song about a turkey on Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. We, tried it. we had a Thanksgiving. But here's the thing about records. You write a bunch of songs, and I'm just yep. don't make it. We yep. were doing it, trying to find a Thanksgiving song, Mike. Nice. You'd, you'd have been like, where did that one go? My dad did play it on Thanksgiving. I, I, th- I had the little voice memo, and he he loves you. My dad was like, you need to uh, give Bobby. My dad always is buying you presents, so he's got one for you for your wedding. Nice. We'll get here eventually. <laughs> and then we wrote, uh, It's Not You, It's Me. We wrote that together? No. Or did you just sing I that? I just sang that, uh, yeah. 
Dang. But you did get a cut on I'm Here. Yes. Yeah, there you see? Yes. And I loved singing the It's Not You, It's Me. That was so fun. This one? Mm-hmm. It's a love song. The crowd's like, oh. And I don't want to break your heart. And I know it's going to sound cliche. But I don't know what else to say. It's not you, it's me. I just don't like dating losers. You're my least favorite favorite. Great enough. song. <laughs> Great song. Good enough. They should come out at the end and they'd laugh and that was it. <laughs> well, listen, you're, uh, you're doing great. Thank you. You're just a kid, 24 years old. And are, like, what are you staying in Nashville? Yeah, I'm staying in Nashville. I'm hoping that um, eventually I can kind of go back and forth between LA. Um, maybe eventually London would be really cool. But just um, doing it, that was a really cool thing about Zoom Rights was how much we got to go, like, people I would only get to write with in person in LA. Suddenly we were now like, okay, cool, let's just Zoom. We might as well, we can. So now I'm like, okay, cool. I have a couple friends mm -hmm. that live there now. So that'll be nice. And you're going to go out on the road and try to play some shows? Yep, yep. I'll keep you updated. All right. Anybody out there need me? Well, nobody actually hears this. We just keep this for us and listen to it at the end of the week. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been recording this. <laughs> yeah, time. yeah. We just kind of talk about it. Like, remember that time she said that? <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just use it as your sleep noise. You guys check out Love Me Too. It's five songs. Were you writing today? No. Okay. You didn't leave a right to come do this. No. This was my only thing today. I think about Emma, she's so good, and I can't wait for whenever you become a big star to go, she used to come to my house at one in the morning and walk Stanley. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> she Crashed had, my car doing it. That's right. Oh, I forgot about yeah. that. She had a key to the house, and Stanley was a puppy puppy, mm -hmm. and he was just a dick. <laughs> 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 and Emma would come at one o'clock in the morning, because I... You know, I'd go to bed early and have to get up and go to work. And yep. she'd come and walk, take him outside and let him use the bathroom at one in the morning. And you, you wrecked your car. It's like a fender bender, right? Tell me that story. So I <clears throat> actually, Nolansville and Thompson in Nashville, everyone watch out when you're driving through that intersection because I got in two accidents in two days back to back in that intersection. The first one, I was driving to your house. It was probably me and one other car. And they're like in the left turn lane and I'm in like, the, there's like a left turn lane, two middle lanes, and then one right turn lane. They were in the left turn lane. They decided last minute through the light to just that they wanted to turn right. I just didn't have time to stop. So like we hit, it was crazy. I was actually with Walker. We were both fine. So that was good. I actually still uh, have my little uh, rear view mirror from that car. Loved that car. But I was okay. So I was good. That's my whole story for you. Nice. Very exciting. And we'll wrap with that. You always want to end on a high note. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we didn't get to this show, but maybe yeah. next one, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys follow Emma. I am Emma Klein. I am Emma K L E I N. Um, I play her because I think she's so great. Thank you. I wish we got to hang out more. I rarely get to see you anymore. Hey, uh, you're I'll just, come you're over. Just, you're just a big star now. No, you won't I'm... walk the dog. You won't do anything. I would actually um, love to come over and cook with Caitlin sometime, hang out with the dogs. You just let me know. All right. I'm available. You guys check out Love Me Too. It's five songs that are slightly out of order, but they're going to be in order soon. Yes. Yes. And all right, that's it. Follow her, listen to her, support her, and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Hey, guys, it's Bobby Bones. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and then go check it out. A lot of artists, a lot of songwriters, a lot of music. Welcome to the Bobbycast channel.